<laughs> yeah, I hope we get. I just want sports back. Well, speaking just, of sports, um, have you guys have you guys seen uh, Mike Tyson's comeback stuff? His uh, what do we about, make of that? No, huh? that's strange. So, so I, dude, that guy, I'm I'm very torn. Right, we've been watching him work out, and when he hits mitts, oh my god, he looks 19. Like he, he looks so good. Go ahead. I was gonna say I'm 31, and he he would he's oh. faster than me. <laughs> oh my yeah. god. I, I'm not fast at all. <laughs> so regular people are faster than me. But um, oh my god, he moves so well. On the other hand, hitting mitts makes everyone look good. I can look decent hitting mitts. I've seen it. Uh, what happens is the guy meets you halfway, and all your punches are short, and it just people think you're throwing punches fast, but you almost get the combined speed of you and the guy hitting mitts. Um, I would say that's true, but I, I saw him hitting a heavy bag too, and he's he's fucking. He's not as fast, but that's still faster and and than most heavyweights, you know. The I way mean, the he dude. turns the corner on guys and gets that uppercut into the ribs, like like he looks so good. On the other hand, we recently watched uh, Chuck Liddell fight. Did you happen to see Chuck Liddell Chuck Liddell fight Tito Ortiz? No, I didn't. No, I didn't hear about that. <laughs> it was like last year, maybe. He looked terrible. <laughs> Super bad. He was a shining example of why 50 year olds shouldn't fight. It was yeah. just, it was, it, uh, this happens, right? Like, like if I were to get into a fight, everyone would say it was terrible and that I don't know how to fight and that I had no talent and, and all that stuff. And they wouldn't be too far off. But big part of the problem is they're comparing me to the other fights they watch, which involve like Dustin Poirier or, you know, fucking Conor McGregor or something. Of course I look terrible. You're comparing me to the best in the world. Um, mm -hmm. Chuck Liddell looked terrible, and I think he just looked terrible. He just was like, he's 50. I, I, in comparison to like MMA fighters, just he looked bad in He general. looked bad. There's a certain way he moves. Like, uh, I, I, I like, okay, here's, it happens to me. If I lay in bed reading my laptop, with my, you know, like on your belly, so you're you got you're on your elbows and you're kind of mm. bent backwards for a bit. If I do yeah. that for like 15, 20 minutes, the first couple steps I take are like, oh god, <laughs> 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 that's how Chuck Liddell moves all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, I know what he's. Wow, you know, like you should get a <laughs> massage. In years of retirement, he's just been doing that. Every <laughs> on his belly <laughs> so Man. he just looks so bad he moves so clunky like and mike tyson moves so well but i i still just worry that if i put him against another he wanted to fight uh tyson fury tyson fury if people don't know boxing at all he's the current heavyweight champion big mm -hmm. white british dude um he's a <laughs> gypsy he's literally a gypsy and uh uh, and he's the best on the planet right now. And Tyson's talking about this big fight with him. And I'm just like, bro, no, 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 no. You want to fight like yeah. Evander Holyfield, right? Pick, he's pick a, a foot taller than Mike Tyson. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mike Tyson is smaller. Small. He was Mike always Tyson's short. And Tyson, that other guy, is six foot nine. Yeah. 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 He's and huge. An enormous gentleman. Mm. Yeah. I, I don't know what... You'd think that Tyson's lack of length would have hurt him in his career, but he had this way of closing the distance. Like, hands up, get inside. He gets to, yeah, he rotates to the guy's side and hits and gets an angle on him. And it's just like, he's like, who's the teleporting X Man? Nighthawk, maybe? <laughs> I'm pretty sure he, he, he channels that dude and just gets over. Anyway, um, yeah, he, they said, people said, uh, heavyweights that fought him said that him being like short and stocky. For heavyweight was what made like threw them off because they would they couldn't like generate some, something like they, their jabs couldn't generate power because they had to lower them or something like that they couldn't go straight out or it's not over and doing hmm. that the distance is a problem too right like long uh, long arm guys want you to be about two feet away that's where their power is you know mm -hmm. if, if my head's on your chest you can't hit it very hard you know exactly. like so th that might be related um yeah, and then maybe it's just being small, not not small, small, but being small for a heavyweight. I imagine it's a little bit like fighting a lefty. Like, it's not that lefties are so good. It's that they're less common, so you're not used to dealing with that problem. Yeah. You know, they're not yeah. used to dealing with a guy who's 5'10", maybe. Yeah. Uh, 
Yeah. But anyway, I, I look, if Tyson fights, I'll pay to see it, but I, I, I don't imagine it's going to look like we think it is. Tyson's not getting younger. Or how he thinks mm-hmm. it is. The other guy's got a foot and 20 years on him. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't. I I wouldn't fight Tyson Fury right away. George Foreman did a comeback after like ten years, I think. Retired. He did. He did. He came back in the the nineties. I'm pretty sure. And yeah, he won the uh, he got he, re, he won the title. Yeah, he regained the title. He regained he the did. title, and he but he started out slow. He didn't jump right into it. No. Yeah. So and he was older and slower, you know, as well. He was. Uh, he had a weird thing. His his punches didn't look hard. They'd be these glancing blows, and they would just wreck people. He'd knock them out. Was, he was really powerful, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just really powerful. Um, but if 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 Foreman can do it, Tyson can do it. But don't I feel like if he goes in there against Tyson Fury and he gets like whooped, he's not gonna have that confidence yeah. that's yeah. gonna carry him after that. So should start much lower than that guy. Start much lower, yeah. That's it. Wasn't Foreman a lot younger? So he was think- forty five. When he okay. announced his comeback. So let's, I'm just making up numbers, but let's assume it was like 45 through 48 when he did it. Um, and how old is Mike Tyson? 54. He, he just turned 54, yep. 45 and 54 are different. They are. Yeah, for sure. Tyson looks Dude. good. I don't know. <laughs> Say, Tyson's defense, he, he doesn't look 54. Um, he does with his beard. He doesn't move yeah. like a 54-year-old, but he looks no. like one. Well, an amazing one. Uh. Man. So George Foreman, I, I guess maybe if you're a good boxer, you don't become totally retarded in your old age. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's still convincing. Dude, so you, we all know he has the George Foreman Grill, one of the greatest products ever made. I have one. Mm. It is a good product. <laughs> good. And, He's making a new product, and I think it's like a pain relieving cream of some sort. And uh, I saw George Foreman being interviewed, and he made me want it. And I don't <laughs> even have pain. Like it, it, he's like, you know, all these other pain relieving creams. You got Ben Gay. You got this. You got that. Like they have a smell to them. It's not nice, you know. My granddaughter says, yeah. Papa George, he smells funny. He's like, I don't want that. I don't want that. So, you know, I came out with the George Foreman cream. It makes you feel better, you, solves your problems, makes your elbows stop hurting, and, and there's no stink to it. The deal my granddaughter likes to sit on my lap, and, and I'm like, fuck, I should get this. <laughs> These are not problems I have. I don't have granddaughters. I don't stink. I don't have pain. But I'm like, is it on Amazon? <laughs> you know, the, the guy can sell shit. <laughs> Relatable, I think is what it is, yeah. Uh, Dude, so there's a whole PKA uh, lore that goes with George Foreman, but we watched this little girl. Uh, her, her, her real name is Freya, but the, the fans call her George Foreman. And uh, she is getting adorable. She like When she was little, little, we started watching her at nine months. And uh, you know, people are like, isn't she cute? She's a baby or whatever. And I'm like, ah, I like I'm older. I like I'm older. And uh, um, now she's older. Now she's like two something. She can walk around. She can talk. She says things. You know, I'm, I'm holding her today, like doing the whole Zerbert thing on her belly and a trumpet plays on the TV. And she's like, oh, it's a trumpet. I'm like, not bad. Not bad. <laughs> you know, She's two, right? She's not like smart for grown up or anything, but but she knew trumpet and I, I, I liked it. Uh, yeah, this kid's, you know, sometimes she wakes me up in the morning. She comes a little pitter-pattering in with her little feet. Like, I can see why grandparents like this role. And at the end of the day, we give her back. Yeah. Also good. I was just uh, reading up, actually, uh, and it looks like Foreman won his uh, heavyweight title when he was, uh, what was it? For? Oh, shit, I misread it, yeah. He won it 45 years and 299 days um okay which is pretty impressive uh That's so i guess it's not not in, not in, not impossible I'm just yeah i mean he does look pretty good but i think it would be hard to make a comeback but uh, i guess yeah. we'll see i mean for a 54 year old he looks tremendous do they drug test national boss what I want to know about the drug testing routine, right? If Mike Tyson has the testosterone levels of 19-year-old Mike Tyson, what are the limits? 
I mean, in Tyson's defense, uh, have you guys ever heard of his his workouts for his um, his actual like training workouts and stuff I like know that? It's insane, but you have think to remind so. me all that goes into it's, it. It's insane, but this man never touched a an actual weight, like an actual like he never weight lifted until he was, I think, in his mid thirties after he got out of prison. Um, mm. he like he was. He is so fucking jacked just doing like body weight stuff. Like he would just do a bunch of squats, push ups, calisthenic stuff, you know. And this dude, without ever touching a weight, like had a better like I, I'm working on mine, you know, working hard and like <laughs> like actual actual weightlifting and stuff. And if you go back and look at him when he was like 19, 20, I mean he looks like he's just got high fucking T. I know it's a joke on the show, but he's got high fucking T. <laughs> I think naturally, even at 50, whatever. Um, I, I was trying to find the quote. Old school boxers hated weightlifting. I, mm -hmm. I, it might have been Customato's quote. I forget. But they're like, they, you know, the thing about weightlifting is I'm not sure if it hurts your boxing a little or if it hurts your boxing a lot. It, it's <laughs> something along those lines. And uh, yeah, so so boxers didn't didn't lift weights back in the day. I think they do mm -hmm. now. Uh, I just, I'm just just looking through some of like what he used to do for his nutrition and diet. Mm -hmm. His snack was a protein shake with six bananas. <laughs> yeah. Wow. That's yeah. so many bananas. Yep. A lot of bananas. He's got all his potassium, though. Maybe, that, maybe that's why he was throwing so quick. Bananas really are the perfect pre-workout. Oh, bananas are fucking great. Did you